spray marks, temporary worker induction. What am I about to do? What could go wrong? How could it be done safely? Before you start, all workers must be fit for duty, drugs and alcohol free. All workers must be fully inducted. Subcontractors must be approved by spray marks and inducted. All workers must have appropriate PPE. Health and safety policy. The management of spray marks is committed to creating a safe and healthy working environment for everyone. Our core company objectives include achieving a high level of consistent well-being for our staff and the fostering of a safety conscious culture which impacts on all our associates. Our core values form the basis of our actions towards health and safety. If health and safety isn't followed, you or your workmate could be seriously injured or killed. A breach of health and safety will be treated as serious misconduct and there will be an investigation in every case. The investigation will include the action or inaction of managers, supervisors and other people on site. Temps and subcontractors will be asked to leave site. Personal protective equipment. All staff must have PPE available at all times. Before you start work, there are safety systems in place. A pre-start toolbox meeting and a hazard identification. These are always completed. A work procedure and a permit to work are completed as required. A pre-start toolbox meeting. A pre-start toolbox must be attended and signed into every day by all employees and subcontractors. It deals with hazards and work going on in an area or zone and is a good forum for communication between everyone. Hazard identification. This outlines the hazard what could go wrong, the risk score and controls to reduce the risk to medium or low. High risk work must not proceed. Consider alternative work methods. Work procedures. These can be verbal instructions or written standard operating procedures, SOPs, or a job safety analysis, a JSA. They will include safety, quality and environmental information. Once agreed, the procedure is expected to be followed. Ask if something isn't clear. Permit to work. A permit to work is a system which documents a contract between the person in control of the place of work and the person carrying out the task. It specifies the work to be carried out, its location, the hazards associated with the work in the environment and the required method of control. It authorises the specified work to be carried out and controlled. Common permits include Hot work, confined space entry, permit to dig anything over 150 millimetres, a trench permit over 1500 millimetres, fall protection, falling in as well as off, cranes and lifting equipment, any work within four metres of the rail corridor. There are also permits required from others, for example, working near overhead lines. 
reporting incidents. Any near miss injuries, damage to plant or mechanical breakdowns are to be reported to the site supervisor as soon as practically possible within 24 hours. The site supervisor will follow the spray marks incident accident process. You still need to report any issues to your employer. When driving, drivers must provide copies of all relevant driving licenses. Drivers must be competent. Equipment has right of way on site. Check the site speed limit and follow it. No cell phone use when driving. Seat belts must be worn. Use lockout tagging systems for any vehicles equipment that cannot be used. Smoking. All indoor workplaces are 100% smoke free, including offices, workshops, bathrooms and canteens. Please see the individual site specific plan or your site supervisor for designated smoking areas whilst working on sites. Specific emergency information. Check if you have mobile coverage. If not, where or who does? Assembly point, spill kit and first aid supplies are at the site office or foreman's ute for smaller sites. Familiarise yourself with the evacuation assembly points and the spray marks fire wardens and first aiders. Follow their instructions in the event of an emergency. Social media. If you use any social media to make derogatory comments about spray marks, bring spray marks name into disrepute, post company or customer information, act as a company spokesperson, this will be treated as serious misconduct. Quality commitment. We're committed to doing it right the first time quality from start to finish, documenting all our progress, quality is everyone's responsibility. Environmental management. Spray Marks is committed to protecting the environment and minimising the effect of our operations on the public. We rely on our staff and subcontractors to ensure we get it right. If you see any environmental risk, report it immediately. Speed is of the essence, particularly around waterways and drains. Spills management. In the event of a spill, contain the spill with the spill kit provided in the spray marks trucks. Report it to the site supervisor immediately. Keep the site tidy. Show respect for your workmates and our client. Keep your workplace clean, tidy and litter free, including cigarette butts. If a job feels or looks unsafe, stop. Find a better way. If after following systems you feel unsafe, stop the job. Everyone has a right to do this. Communicate with others. Remember, safety is everyone's responsibility. Putting safety above all else is how Spraymarks does business. It makes sense. It is the law. We will do whatever it takes to ensure everyone goes home safe at the end of each day. It is important that you understand that spray marks takes health and safety seriously and that it will take all practicable steps necessary to maintain an active health and safety system. Please complete the online portion of your induction.